No security solution is perfect. In today's world, second opinion scanners are a necessity. And today, we'll be taking a look at a particularly good one. This is Leo from Fall Critic, and you are watching the review of Hitman Pro. Hitman Pro is an extremely small and portable utility. It is only 10.8 megabytes, does not require any additional download, and can clean a system using its cloud scanning technology. So in order to put this solution to the test, we have an infected system. It may not look very malicious, but trust me, there are dangers in the deep. Right now, we do not have any fake AVs installed that would prevent any anti-malware applications from starting. However, in some cases, you may encounter malware that is actually going to block security products from launching, thereby preventing you from removing it. Well, if you're using Hitman Pro, you don't have to worry. So you can either start Hitman Pro directly by double-clicking on it, or you can start it using their Force Breach Mode, which is what we're going to do, just to demonstrate it. So in order to use Force Breach Mode on a heavily infected system, what you want to do is hold the Control key and then open Hitman Pro. What this is going to do is it'll look in the background for processes that might be malicious, and might prevent the program from starting and it's going to terminate all of them and then launch Hitman Pro so that the removal process is smooth and there is no interference from the active malware. So let's launch Hitman Pro in force breach mode. As you can see, it says Hitman Pro terminated two processes. This software is so simple to use, their entire interface can be thought of as a wizard. It's a process and you complete it and your system is clean. Just keep in mind Hitman Pro uses Bitdefender and Kaspersky scan engines. If we take a look at their settings, you can automatically upload suspicious files to their scan cloud. You can compress unknown files before upload in order to make the process faster. You probably want to use a secure channel while communicating with their scan cloud. You can create a restore point before removing files. You can scan for malware remnants and PUPs. You can also scan for tracking cookies. Now in the scan, you can schedule scans. And if you have the product installed, you can have a context menu scan as well. But you can use this as a portable utility too, which is very handy. You can put this on your flash drive and you can literally scan any computer with it immediately, as long as you have access to the internet. Then we have license and proxy settings. So Automatically, it gets the proxy settings from Internet Explorer, which is a great thing because whatever browser you're using probably has access to the Internet. So if it takes the settings from there, it means that the connection should probably work. Now, it uses direct disk access in order to scan. You can also use virus toll and you can enable their early warning scoring, which means it is going to detect more zero day threats, but at the same time, it is going to have more false positives. So we're just going to use the default settings for now. And we'll do a scan. Now, if you see, there's a little drop down arrow right next to the next button and you can do a default scan or a quick scan those are the two options that you have we're going to do a default scan now keep in mind you can also put this tool into a usb flash drive and create a kickstart usb flash drive which can help you in many cases when the system is terribly infected and the malware has completely taken over so now let's do their default scan now it asks us if we want to install Hitman Pro on this computer so that we can regularly scan it or if we just want to do a one-time scan, which is what we're going to select for the purposes of this test. And now we're scanning. Hitman Pro has a really fast scan considering it relies on the cloud and scans so many locations. And as you can see, we are finding threats already. Well, I didn't even have to pause for the scan. It is that fast. 
and as you can see it has detected a lot of threats. All of these are Trojans, so we have a Trojan in app data roaming, update.exe, explorer.exe, it's a fake one, and it's present in app data roaming. We also have a file that looks like SVC host, but is not, and is present in Windows folder. We also have updater.exe, another malicious file, notepab.exe, and Windows, bj.exe, and Windows, so a lot of malware on the system. Now let's see how well Hitman Pro can deal with it and whether it can clean the system successfully. So we have the delete option selected for all of these, but you can decide to quarantine them or you can ignore them if uh, the files are false positives or something. Now they also have an apply to all option, which is very handy when dealing with multiple detections. So now it's creating a restore point and then it's going to remove all of these files. And now it says all of these are deleted. But we need to reboot the system in order to make sure that it was cleaned. Because we did have some active malware so it may have to do some of the deletions during the reboot process. As you can see, it shows us the uh, Hitman Pro thing during boot up. And now our system's up and running again. Now let's go ahead and do another scan with Hitman Pro and see if we have any malware left over. This time we didn't have to use force breach mode. And voila, our system is now clean. So this is how you can use Hitman Pro to clean any of your computers. If you use malware tools on a regular basis, this should definitely be in your arsenal. And even if you're not uh, a system administrator, but you just want to make sure that your antivirus product is keeping your computer safe, Hitman Pro is a great way to verify that. So I hope you enjoyed this review. Do like the video if you did and subscribe to our channel for more. And check out the written review at www.fallcritic.com. This is your host Leo, signing out.